Hey, what up everybody? This is Stevie Breach coming to you here today, watching a little bit of WWE's NXT for February 24th, 2016. We're counting down until the big NXT TakeOver show in Dallas, and uh, it's honestly been a while, if it's confession time right now, since I've watched uh, an episode of NXT. Um, I honestly don't remember the last time I actually watched the physical NXT television show. I can remember the last thing that I watched from NXT was that special from NXT over in London. Um, but, uh, you know, since I got my new Apple TV today and I don't have to fight with my wife back and forth or wait for her to fall asleep in order to just take the Apple TV and bring it into the other room, I said, hey, you know, what's the first thing I'm going to watch off of WWE Network is I'm going to watch some good old NXT. Show opened up with an awesome tag team match uh, with uh, basically being Blake and Murphy going up against American Alpha. It sort of sucks that Blake and Murphy haven't been as hot lately, uh, even though Alexa Bliss on the outside is all oh, spectacular. But um, really, really fun stuff in this this match. Blake and Murphy's a really good tag team. I really like them, but uh, it's just American Alpha's time. It really looks like they're going to be taking the, uh, the championships at the NXT Dallas show. If they don't win it there, I honestly will be really surprised. Uh, I know that they ran a, uh, a segment uh, during the show basically showing... Um, Enzo um, getting beaten up by Dash and Dawson, if that means that they're going to be getting the tag team title shot. I don't really know what you do with Jordan and Gable, but American Alpha right now is just about as hot as the tag team that there ever really could be. I was really thinking that uh, we were going to see, um, you know, um, Enzo and Kaz get bumped up to the uh, the main roster. I thought it really would have made a lot of sense at Fastlane uh, to get sort of the endorsement from Edge and Christian with them being on the show. Even though Christian is still under contract, Edge really honestly doesn't come around all that often. Maybe he'll be coming around more uh, since he has a WWE Network show to plug. Um, but uh, I think the, the story on him is he doesn't even really have a Legends deal with WWE um, because he didn't think that they offered him enough money and he's, he's able to do more on his own uh, without it. So, um, I don't know when you're ever really going to get a chance like that, but they should have, uh, they should have been able to do that. But, uh, American Alpha picked up the win here with a really, really good match. I really like their new attire, uh, even though it looks like they sort of, uh, went to the uh, Steiner Brothers 1990 garage sale, uh, and picked it up. But, uh, they get the win. They move on from here. They're, they're, they're as hot as ever. Um, I heard a, um, a review of last week's, uh, tag match. Um, but, uh, I didn't get to see it, but, uh, I heard it was a really fun eight man tag going on there. But, uh, in the next match, it was Apollo Crews going up against, uh, Biff Busick, uh, off the Indies. I'll be hundred percent honest with, with you. If it wasn't for Twitter, um, I wouldn't even have known, uh, who, um, he, who he was. I, I don't even remember what his name was, um, on the show. I just know that he didn't wrestle as Biff Busick. Um, but, uh, you know, Apollo Crews was able to show off how, how good this guy is. I think he's a future champion inside of WWE. And anytime I'm able to watch an Apollo Crews match, honestly, I'm really, really happy and uh, hyped to see it. Uh, from there, we went to uh, Bull Dempsey going up against Tomasa Ciampa. Nothing really big from this match other than Tomasa Ciampa um, locking in the armbar on Bull Dempsey and Bull Dempsey tapping out. Uh, this is probably going to be his last match, I think. I think he got uh, let go right after these tapings uh, at Central uh, Florida. Um, but uh, then we uh, start to see, uh, you know, Samoa Joe uh, talking about last week's uh, match uh, that ended uh, with a screwy finish of both guys pinning each other at the same time, uh, not knowing what to do. And William Regal um, saying that basically they're going to do Sami Zayn versus Samoa Joe. This time it's going to be two out of three falls. So there will be no, um, you know, screwy finish. And basically we will know who the number one contender is that's going to get the shot at NXT um, in, in Dallas. I don't I don't know if that's just NXT Dallas or I guess NXT TakeOver Dallas. I'm not 100% sure, but uh, Samoa Joe uh, is basically saying that uh, it means that Sami Zayn is going to suffer twice as much and he's going to make sure that he go is, is going to get the win. Um, and then also uh, Sami Zayn says he's ready to make history and pump it up. Uh, then in the main event, uh, this is a big tag match of Bailey and Carmella uh, going up against Nia Jax as well as uh, the, the good old Eva Marie. Um, this was a good match. Nothing really spectacular about it. It was all built up off of uh, the Bailey versus Carmella match. Bailey was able to beat Carmella, and then as Carmella was walking up the ramp, she was attacked by Eva and uh, Nia. 
And uh, basically then the, it started to spill into the ring where uh, the heels were working everybody over. And then out of nowhere, Asuka came out to make the save. Um, and then once it was all over, we got a, uh, a, a face-off between Bailey and, and Asuka. So I'm not sure if this was a match to sort of kill off Eva Marie and uh, Nia Jax or, or what was going to be going down. But uh, in this one, uh, Carmella and Eva worked uh, together a lot. We saw, you know, Carmella uh, get worked over by Nia Jax. And uh, all in the end, um, we saw the big leg drop from Nia Jax on top of Carmella with them getting the win. And uh, them, you know, living to to fight another day um, at the end of the show. But uh, I don't know. Fun, fun stuff. We ended up with a promo um, uh, from uh, Finn Balor in the back, basically talking uh, about that he is really excited to see who's going to win the two out of three falls match to find out who he's going to be facing at um, uh, the main event for next week for the main event of the pay-per-view. So I'll see you guys down the road and uh, NXT. I'm looking forward to seeing you next week.